a British classic, uh, braised steak. Uh, braised steak's really handy for um, children like it because it's nice and tender, uh, as do older people. They, they really love it because they can still have a steak dinner without having to worry about all that uh, chewing. <laughs> All right, so um, let's get started. The, uh, the steak I'm using is, is uh, braising steak. We call this braising steak, and it's just uh, pieces of chuck steak which are cut into steak-like slabs. You'll need about four of those. I've got two packs of two. Pick those up for a really good price. Um, you'll also need um, half a litre of beef stock. Uh, you can make that up with one stock cube or by boiling bones however you do it but um, you'll need half a litre of it you need some oil for frying you'll need uh, about a tablespoon of tomato paste, tomato puree you'll need a couple of cloves of garlic crushed or finely chopped uh, you'll need a, a bay leaf and you'll need a sprig of thyme or a pinch of dried thyme a teaspoon of uh, corn flour, cornstarch for, for thickening, about a tablespoon, I'm using a tablespoon of whole grain mustard but you can leave that out if you don't like mustard, I, I think it particularly gives a good flavour, as does the onion, the, the onions are the aromatic component along with the, the herbs and the garlic. Um, you'll need some salt and pepper um, and you'll also need a large casserole dish okay um, with a lid and it needs needs to be one with a lid this is a you know an old pyrex dish uh, perfectly good for the job and uh, okay so um, I'm, the onion needs to be finely sliced and I'll just prep up the uh, steaks and then we'll get them frying just to seal them up all right I've created a uh, sorry it's got a bit of an oil stain on it but I've created a um, a menu sheet um, for this one which you'll be able to download or it'll be in the description uh, below. Alright, so there you go. Alright, um, I've salt, salted and peppered these uh, braising steaks on both sides and I've turned my oven uh, up to 180 degrees Celsius which is around 350 degrees Fahrenheit and um, that'll warm up while we're frying the steaks off. All right, we get the pan nice and hot and we add a bit of oil. Just a little bit of oil and then get the steaks in two at a time to fry them up and brown them off. Meanwhile, we can lift the lid on the casserole dish. Get that out of the way. And get that ready to receive the steak. So we try to brown those on both sides so you'll know as soon as you're able to lift them that they're, they're browned on one side. It takes a little bit of time. All right while that's cooking away what I'm going to do is show you the next bit. Right into your stock you're going to want to put your tomato puree Whisk that in. Your mustard. Whisk that in. Let's get that over there. And let's get this here. And then we transfer the steak the last of the steak to the casserole dish like that turn the heat off the pan okay onto the pan goes the onions get them in nicely uh, and don't forget whisking the um, cornstarch into the Oh, that's not going too well, is it? Anyway, whisk the cornstarch into your stock. And the garlic goes in there. 
and the herbs. Get the herbs into there, put the bay leaf in there. And then you cover that in the stock mixture. And then we transfer that now with the lid on into the oven. And it goes in the oven, as I said, 180 degrees for about an hour and a half. All right, let's have a look what this looks like. There we go, there's the reveal. So, there you are, it's uh, looking rather good. All this, the steak looks nice and juicy, nice and cooked. Um, in retrospect, I could have, probably should have put the, um, the corn flour in, the cornstarch in, uh, at this stage and then put it in for another 10 minutes, but it seems to have done rather well. Uh, I have corrected this in the recipe sheet though, so um, that'll give you slightly better instructions than you've seen here actually, but there you go. Um, I'm going to show that served up with some uh, Mogo chips, which are um, made from cassava, and uh, some green beans but I'll show you that all served up. If you want to see a recipe for the Mogo chips, let me know below. All right, there it is. It's served up with the uh, green beans, uh, the Mogo chips I told you about earlier. And I'm just gonna put a spoonful of, a ladle full of gravy over the top of that. And a quick go on the pepper and salt. And there you have it, um, braised steak. Enjoy. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.